So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, really just given the length of the question itself. Typically, translate word problem questions are four lines or longer. So let's take a look at it and see what we can translate. So the question says, Tom has taken five of the eight equally weighted tests in his U.S. history class this semester, and he has an average score of exactly 78 points. All right, so I'm going to translate that. So he has taken five tests. So he took T1, T2, T3, T4, plus test. So T stands for test. Test five. And if we took all those scores and divided it by five, he would have 78, right? So I'm just representing what I would do to find the average there. So that means that if I were to multiply both sides of this by 5, and again, I do this out of habit at this point because of the number of questions that require you to use this process. Um, when I take my calculator and find out what 78 times 5 is, I see that all those tests, right, so I'm going to just say big T, is equal to 390, right, and big T is the numerator here. So all the test scores added up equals 390 for the, for the first five tests. How many points does he need to earn on the sixth test to bring his average score up to exactly 80 points? All right, so I'm going to say he already has 390 points, right, representative of T1 through 5. I don't know what he needs on test 6, T6. And of course, you could use X here. I'm just using, I don't know why I'm using T. But you can use X or A, whatever variable you want to represent the test. But I also know that um, after taking the sixth test, to find an average, we would be dividing by six now instead of five. And we know that that average, we want to be 80. So here's my translation of the question, right, with T6 being the thing that I want to solve for. But you can see that I needed to I needed to figure out this first kind of preliminary information first in order to even get this 390 um, that becomes useful then for the for the equation that I'm actually going to use in order to solve. So when I multiply both sides of this by six, right? So this question just becomes like a you know solve for the unknown variable type of thing. So I'm going to isolate the variable. So I'm multiplying both sides by six. So six crosses out on this side. I'm left with 390. Let's just say plus x. You know, I'll leave it t6. It's bothering me, but um, you should, you know, you could, you know, use whatever variable that you like. So 390 plus t6 or test 6 is equal to 80 times 6, which is 480. We subtract 390 from both sides in order to isolate the test 6 variable. So test 6 or the score for test 6 is equal to 480 minus 390 which is 90, and therefore our correct answer is choice A.